God bless America. God bless America. Land that I love. If you're gonna go to Target, I'd rather you go to Costco because then they have the bigger bag of berries. Bear, no, a bigger bag. If you go to Costco, get two of the small. If you're going, no, if you're going to Costco, get just one of the big, and then if you're going to Target, two of the small. Where's the boyfriend at the store who is not going to know what to get? He's going to tell me right now. Yeah, that was in the list. Yogurt. It's in the list. See? Send him a list. Guys, don't even read it. Don't even read it. This girl's got a cupcake tiara. Check it out. I have a cupcake tiara. I am the cupcake princess. <laughs> hey guys. I'm the princess. Just kidding. I was tagged by a number of you to do what's called the princess tag. I believe Tati from Glam Life Guru um, created this tag. It's kind of a fun tag. Uh, so I thought I'd kind of glam myself up a little bit today, you know? Little sparkle, little overdone earrings, throw my tiara, tiara, evs. You know what's funny? Hold that thought. I have two tiaras. Let's push that back. Got to expose my blankness there. I have a cupcake tiara, and then I have a regular tiara. Why? Why do I have two? Well, my mom and sister actually made this for me for my birthday one year. Oh, isn't that cute? I love them. But today I'll just don my princess tiara. So anyhow, it's basically your your favorite high-end luxury products. So yeah, I mean luxury in terms of it's not drugstore. It's a luxury product. A lot of you know I usually shop for, I tend to try and go more inexpensive with my cosmetics and whatnot, but I do have my collection and my faves of luxury higher-end brands that you can't get at drugstores. So that's what this tag is about. So here we go. Number one is foundation. Now I just have to say, we all know, we, you know we're girlfriends, we're homies. I don't wear a liquid foundation, never have. Uh, I haven't like my entire life, just because I feel like it suffocates my skin, I feel like my skin can't breathe. So what I do use is what is considered a powder foundation. And it is the Chanel, I mean, this is like such a broken record. I've been using this product for probably 10 years. Uh, it is the Double Perfection Lumiere Mattifying Powder, Compact Powder Foundation Makeup. And it's oil-free. That's what the compact looks like. I'm actually due for another. Again, I wear 40 beige, and I do use the sponge. And it's just a compact foundation, powder foundation and I love it. I am in love with it. It is a ride or die. It's like my child. I, I can't be without it. It is my everything. You are my everything. Okay. Number two, I'm looking over there because that's for the little, yeah, concealer. In terms of concealers, I just ran out of my, it's the Boing, Boeing, Boeing concealer that I will often use. Uh, and I just ran out of it, so I don't have it here to show you guys. But in terms of a high-end concealer, the two that I have always loved have been Dermablends Original Formula Concealer or the Boing Concealer by Benefit. Those are my two favorites. I'm sorry I don't have them here to show you. I am out of Dermablend and the Boing I'm out of as well. Y'all know I'm a Boots user. I love Boots number seven. Quick Cover Concealer. I can't fake the front on that one. <laughs> That's just what I love. But the two high end that I do love are those two products, Dermablend and the Boeing. Boeing. Good Lord. Okay, next is powder. Again, I know this is so probably like redundant and you guys are like, she's not a good tagger for this tag. But the Chanel matte mattifying powder, double perfection Lumiere makeup. It can be used as just like a setting powder, a powder for your face, or you can use it. You can use this wet or dry also. I know girls who wear found liquid foundation and then set it with this powder. So it can be used kind of any way. To me, I use it as just a powder. I put concealer down and then I put my powder over it. I use this as my powder. So again, the Chanel, um, 
mattifying compact powder foundation is also my powder. Next is bronzer. My two favorite high-end bronzers are the Betty Lou Manizer, which you guys know, I think I just featured this in a favorites. It is by The Balm. It is The Balm because it is an amazing, amazing bronzer. I'm not one to really bronze contour my face, but if I ever do, I do use this or See, this is a luxury tag. I'm wanting to give you guys dupes on what's better. <laughs> I'll read a different video. Anywho, it is, this is, okay, I can't keep referring back because this is just luxury products. So, it is the Betty Lou Manizer Balm um, Bronzer. And also, I don't know if they even make this anymore, but I've had this for years and I absolutely love it. It's by Model Co. And it is the Glow Summer Bronze Bronzer and it is in the color Glow Summer Bronze. It's just pink, that's what it looks like. And I think it's broken inside. There's like barely any left. But oh my God, the coloring of this, I have never found anything better. I literally, when going through my makeup the other day, just dropped this and it broke and I nearly cried because I've not seen this anywhere else and I need to like search the internet to see if I can't find it but the Model Co um, Luminizing Bronzing Powder for Face and Body is amazing. I love this. It is such a pretty deep bronzing color. Two favorite luxury blushes a bling show is the of course NARS Orgasm. We all know we all know, we all love NARS Orgasm. Who doesn't love NARS Orgasm? Well, there's probably some people who don't, but I do. Then I have the Chanel Aqua Blush in 80 Rose. It just looks like this. And it is the, it's actually a stick. It's kind of like a cream blush. And it is just the prettiest, prettiest color. Do you see that sheen? Oh. Yeah, oh, I love the smell too. It is just so pretty and I absolutely, absolutely love this blush. Again, it is the Chanel Aqua Blush in 80 Rose. So, and also for blush, I've mentioned this recently too, but the Lorac um, blushes in the Pro Palette to go, the coral and the pink, I have been using the coral I have on today, but I have just been in love with those two colors, the pink and the coral. Oh my gosh. And like I said, it comes in the Lorac Pro Palette to go, obsessed. Next, highlighters. Two favorite highlighters is, it's by Chanel, and is the Jouer Contrasti. I don't know, I don't speak French, y'all. It is their, what they call their powder blush, but to me, it's like a highlighter. I actually have it on today. Look at that gold highlighter. Yeah, buddy. It is in the color 47 Eldorado. And I don't even know if they make this anymore, but that's what it looks like. It is just the prettiest, prettiest, I mean, look at that. The highlight is just, yeah. It's just the prettiest, prettiest color. And again, it is Jouer Contrasti um, Powder Blush in 47 Eldorado but I am in love with that as a highlighter. As well as, <laughs> how sad I have it in a Ziploc. It is the Balms uh, Mary Lou Manizer and it is their highlighter, but again, broken. Yeah, this stuff though, y'all, I mean, look at that pigmentation. That's just insane. That is insane in the membrane. Look it. And I just, I love their packaging. Oh my God, should I just like really bronze it up? A little here, a little here. A little on the shoulder, a little decollete action. We're like really, really overdone today. It's the princess tag. Next is eyeshadows. And this was really hard for me because I'd be loving my eyeshadows. So let me just kind of go through what kind of my current favorites are. We all know I've mentioned this before, it is the Urban Decay Skull Shadow Box Eyeshadow Palette. This is a ride or die for me. I have probably three of these palettes lying around because I use them, use one of these colors on probably a daily basis. They're, I mean, you can see this thing is busted. I use it so much. So the Urban Decay 
shadow box skull palette amaze balls like you can't even did i just say that out loud so sorry but the colors are amazing also kind of you know been kind of beaten to death and mentioned recently by me is the Lorac la, la, the Lorac Pro palette to go that I just got from BeautyCon I have the colors on today I am so in love with these colors I mean oh my god these eyeshadows are so beautiful so beautiful and another shadow palette that I've had for years and I am probably for sure they don't make this anymore, but I have hung on to it because I absolutely am in love with these and I still use them. It was by, it's the Christian Dior Highlighting Palette. And you can see I've hit pan upon pan upon pan, but I still have a couple where I can dig them out. And when I want a really good highlight here at the top of my eyebrow, these colors are just so amazing. Look at that. And so pigmented. And they're just all in kind of different jewel toned highlighters um, for eyeshadows and I've just been in love with this palette for years and like I said they probably don't make it anymore but this Christian Dior eyeshadow palette oh it has been my favorite forever favorite eyeliners is uh, the Too Faced Perfect Black wait Too Faced Perfect Eyes waterproof eyeliner in the color Perfect Black it just looks like this it is just the prettiest dark very pigmented black and I love it. I mean it is such a dark dark black and I love that color. And then it has a little spongy dealing on the other end. So the Too Faced eyeliner. Then I love the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencils. I just think they are amazing as well. There's one of the colors next to the black. And this one is in the color Juju. It's in the color Juju right next to it. Love these pencils. And then also the Chanel Crayon Double, I don't know. It's called, it's basically their Chanel on the Double Eye Crayon. And again, I don't even know if they make this anymore. Chanel's always changing up their products. I got this a while ago, but I just have loved it and I've used it. And I just think that the colors are beautiful. The one side is a brown, kind of a bronzy brown, right here. And I think that's considered cool bronze. And then the one next to it is piche, piche. I probably just murdered that so badly. But that's the one down below it. So these two pencils come in that one. These two colors come in the one pencil. It's a little two-sided crayon love this just the prettiest prettiest colors next is mascara never really been one for high-end mascaras but as of recently i have been using the benefits they are real mascara i'm in love with it so in love with it it is such an amazing amazing mascara i mean holy smokes that's the wand and it just gets right in those little hairs and just gets, lets you to get all up in there and poke around and even for mascara underneath your eyes. This is such an amazing, amazing mascara. I am so in love with it. It's, the black is very, very, I think I use it in the color black, yeah. It's amazing. I actually just have this little sample that I got at Sephora, but like I said, I was never one for any high-end mascara. My two favorite lip liner, well, my favorite lip liners are probably, well, MAC. Uh, my two favorites are Boldly Bare, which I'll draw right here, but they're kind of like nudes, so you're not even really going to be able to see it, but right there, Boldly Bare, and then, oh, this is a ride or die, Naked. Naked, I wear, like, all the time. It's right below it. It's right below it. You won't see it because... It's naked right there. So these two lip liners by MAC, Barely the, Boldly Bare and Naked. Amazing, amazing lip liners. Perfect nude lip liners. So good. My favorite lipsticks. Currently, I am kind of just, you know, on the verge of obsession in love with actually the color I have on right now, which is the Illamasqua lipstick in the color Scandal. I, okay, this is not going to stay there. 
I'm absolutely in love with this color. I just think it's so, so pretty. That's what it looks like. I'll swatch it for you. Right there. And like I said, I have it on my lips right now. Ignore the zit. He came to visit this morning. Hopefully he leaves tomorrow. Anyhow, this lipstick I'm in love with and yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. My other two favorites, I love MAC lipsticks in terms of, I guess it would be luxury or higher end because it's not a drugstore, is Creme de Nude and Hue. These are, I mean, continuous buys. I'm always repurchasing these lipsticks. Here's Creme de Nude, Creme de Nude right there, and Hue. And there's Hue. Lip gloss, another MAC product. I have to say my all-time favorite lip gloss of like of life is Chanel's Twinkle. Chanel Twinkle lip gloss, hands down, all-time favorite lip gloss of Princess Land. <laughs> it is just the prettiest, prettiest color, and I've just been in love with it all my life. I currently don't have it, but Chanel Twinkle, you should go swatch it. It's gorgeous. Um, but my other favorite like ride or die lip gloss is by MAC. It is the Pro Longwear Lip Glass in the color Patience Please. And just holy smokes. Like this, I, I love the wand. I love that it's very sticky and tacky. Um, that's what the wand looks like. And that's the color. And that's the color right there. Love this lip gloss. You can see I'm going to need a new one. Next is brow product. I'm just gonna be real honest with y'all and not try and like pull something out of my hat. I don't, nor have I ever used any professional or high-end eyebrow products. I've always used drugstore brow products. So I am going to like throw in a little extra something and kind of, you know, at the end where it's like a, cause you can have like a miscellaneous in this. So I'll have like a couple miscellaneous cause I'm not going to front and try and throw in, like I said, a high end and be like, yeah, this is my favorite. I don't, I don't have a favorite high end luxury eyebrow pencil. I use drugstore. Um, okay. Nail polish, hands down favorite nail polish of life, which I guess this is kind of considered drugstore. Ha. Huh. I should have pulled out my Chanel Vamp. Well, Chanel Vamp and blue black satin. There's a blue black satin. My Chanel Vamp is probably one of my all-time favorites. Besides that, I just had to show this because it doesn't matter. This is my ride or die favorite nail polish of life. I've probably been wearing this for 10 years, but it is Essie's Fiji. I mean, it is just the what's on my hand. It is just the prettiest pale pink color, and it's just it nothing touches it. It is the all-time best pale. It's very opaque, very, very pretty, pretty pink color, and I love it. So now there are choices of miscellaneous. So, and you can do candles, goodies, tools, different thingies. So my favorite high-end has been lately my Dolce & Gabbana um, cuff. It says D&G is my mentor. It is just a black leather cuff. I wear this thing all the time, all the time. I am in love with it. It is just the cutest cuff and yeah, I love it. So that's one of my miscellaneouses. My favorite high-end candles. <sighs> this thing smells like a dream. I have it set on like an ottoman right next to my couch and I can just smell it all the time, but it is by Baccarat. And it, I don't even know what it's, I even kept the box because the box is so pretty. I received this in, I went to, what was it, the Emmys? Two years ago? It was like, was it the date? No, it was, yeah, it was the Emmys two years ago. And it was part of like the swag bag, like for, you know, attendees. And holy, it came in this. And this, this candle just, it has a B on it for obviously Baccarat. And it burns so slowly. This thing just is amazing. It's very, very perfumey. But you, when you light it, it just smells like the prettiest, luxurious smell. It's not, it's, it's almost kind of fruity, but perfumey. Oh, it's just so rich and luxurious. And I love this candle. I don't even know how much it is. I don't even want to know. I mean, it's Baccarat. 
so I have no clue. Two other current uh, faves of mine that I found and have been wearing more often because this type of shoe is in that strappy heel are my Dolce & Gabbana um, strappy heel shoes. It's just one strap across here. It's a kitten heel and a little strap around the ankle. This style is very in and it is Dolce & Gabbana. And I just love this. This is so pretty with like a boyfriend jean kind of rolled up or camo pants. But I, like I said, this kind of shoe style is in again and it's just very pretty and very elegant to wear and I'm just in love with these. Her fave um, is obviously pointy toed pumps are in. So I pulled out my Gucci pointy toe pumps and they just have little monogram G's, very, very tiny monogram G's through them. And again, it is a very small kitten heel, but just the prettiest Gucci pumps to wear with you know, again, rolled up boyfriend jeans, camo pants, but that pointy toe pump is just so in right now. And I just thought that that is so pretty for fall. And I mean, like I said, this is a luxury princess tag. So pulled out some of my products that I'm currently using and gonna be using for fall. Anyhow, that's it guys. Thank you to my subbies who tagged me. This was such a fun tag. Actually, some of the ones I can't wait to see do this is Jaclyn Hill, Marlena, uh, Makeup Geek, uh, Gregory Gorgeous, I don't know, Dulce, um, geez, who else? Just so many different people. I can't wait to see them do this. This is fun. So I'm gonna be tagging a bunch of people down below. Candy Johnson. I will tag a number of you down below and I tag you as well watching. So yeah, I can't wait to see your guys' videos out there. Thank you again so much for your love and support and prayers. I truly appreciate it. Welcome to my new subscribers. This is me. I'm crazy. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. Please be kind to each other and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.